Okay, so we have started our interior renovations. We have taken out the pantry that was in this corner along with a piece of cabinetry um, that fit in that spot there where the tile is not cut along with the matching top piece. And behind the pantry we found the original spot where the fridge was supposed to go. There was no outlet there, there was water, and there is water going to it. And pardon the mess, because we had to pull our pantry out, put it in totes and drawers and stuff. But here is where they put the refrigerator. Okay? And it is perpendicular to the cabinetry in the kitchen. So, and right next to a window. Interesting. They jerry-rigged some water line that was drilled through the hole goes under the floor and t does a uh, vampire tap into one of the main copper pipes downstairs in the basement and uh, so we're fixing that up the uh, idea is we're going to put the fridge back here we're actually going to build a partition wall here and make that the pantry and we'll put solar screen and stuff on the windows to keep the sun out. Uh, but we don't get that much sun up here. Um, and it's a south facing window so we should be good. We're going to extend, we're, we're changing out all the cabinetry, but we're going to extend the cabinetry down tops and bottoms so the wall is not just a wall in the kitchen with a door. Uh, we may get fancy with the door but that's a whole other project in itself. The lighting, if you can see where the pantry was in this corner, I'm trying not to show you the, the light source itself, but the light is right here. It was literally above the pantry, and you can see how high the pantry went. The light is just right here. And they did it also on this side, instead of centering it with the kitchen. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to put in some can lights, get rid of the fixtures, put in can lights, and it's going to look nice. But this is one of the interior projects. And um, a lot of people wanted to sit there and say that the issues with the boiler wasn't the owner's fault with the plumbing and all that stuff. It was, you know, user error. So I was getting blamed for that. But this is literally an every fixture and every outlet, everything has, been, has been done by a non-professional. So uh, my goal is to show you what to expect when buying a house on a homestead that uh, somebody else has built. And now for the next project. I will lead you down into the next video which will be a dryer video. I want to show you that mess and what we're doing with that. So on to the next.